Welcome to Get Real with Michael Atencio, where we tackle the biggest issues facing our world today. And today we have a real doozy for you. So gather around the flickering campfire and let me regale you with a thrilling tale from the world of science that has baffled the greatest minds for decades. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and ring the notification bell to join our community of mystery and wonder. In the realm of scientific exploration, there's one strange and fascinating experiment that's akin to an unsolved enigma in quantum mechanics. A spectacle so baffling and yet so profound, it's been repeated over and over again across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to the enigmatic double slit experiment. It's a testament to the awe-inspiring duality of light and matter, the strange dance they play between being waves and particles. How, you ask? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Now imagine this, you're shooting a laser beam, a vivid unbroken blue towards a wall with two slits. You'd expect the light to split and appear as two distinct lines on a screen behind, right? But instead you get a peculiar striped pattern, as if the light passed through both slits and interfered with itself as if it were a wave. This alone challenges everything we've known about the nature of light. However, the tale doesn't end here. Prepare yourself as we delve deeper into this enigma. What if I told you that the same pattern emerges even when you shoot photons one by one? A single photon, mind you, acting as if it passed through both slits simultaneously like a wave. Strange, right? But the true spine-tingling twist comes when we set up a detector to watch which slit the photon passes through. Just as we start observing, as if sensing our prying eyes, the photon abruptly changes its behavior. The detector lights up half of the time, indicating that the photon has chosen one slit over the other, behaving like a particle. The pattern on the screen changes, no longer showing the wave-like interference pattern, but two distinct lines, a clear sign of particle-like behavior. The moment we decide to measure it, it morphs from a wave into a particle. In this spooky quantum world, it seems as if the universe quote, quote, knows when it's being watched. It flips a metaphorical quantum coin the moment we decide to observe, deciding on the fly which form the particle should take. This, my friends, is the central defining mystery of quantum mechanics that continues to mystify us all. Now, who do you think was the mastermind behind this enigma? Surprisingly, it predates quantum mechanics by over a century. It was first introduced by the British polymath Thomas Young in 1803. Young's simple yet mind-boggling experiment triggered a seismic shift in our understanding of light, forever changing the way we see our universe. Are you thrilled by the story? Want to try it out yourself? The good news is you can replicate Young's experiment quite easily with just sunlight and a few household items. You might not be able to uncover the quantum weirdness with this at-home version, but you can still demonstrate the wave nature of light, bringing this strange phenomenon right into your hands. Or, if you're more technologically inclined, you could even recreate the interference pattern with Photoshop or similar software, creating a digital version of this quantum mystery. But the real adventure begins when we delve into the quantum side of things. To witness the true enigma, you'll need the advanced tools found in a physics lab. I know it sounds daunting, but many have been lured into a career in physics by the sheer weirdness and wonder of quantum mechanics. There you have it. Our next story is about another dimension in time and space. It's one where no one has gone before. The fourth dimension, where all that we know about dimensions is defied. A tale of an elusive realm known as the fourth dimension. But before we dive into the unknown, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, drop a like if you're enjoying our little fireside chat, and click that notification bell to keep yourself posted on our thrilling tales. Now let's begin. Have you ever heard about the zeroth dimension? I can almost see your eyebrows creasing in confusion, and rightly so. Imagine, if you will, the smallest and the biggest thing at the same time. Baffling, right? But my friends, that's the beauty of this dimension. It's merely a point, possessing no width, no length, and no height. Like a lone star in the endless night sky, it represents a point in space. Nothing more, nothing less. But the journey doesn't end here. As we continue our quest to unravel the fourth dimension, 
we step into the world of 1D, the first dimension. Picture a realm where everything exists as a line, yes, just a line, each differing only in length. Like a straight path in an unending forest, it has no width, no height, just pure length. Take a leap with me now as we cross into the second dimension, a place that might remind you of those old cartoons. Here, our cube starts to look a bit more like a cube becoming a square. Two-dimensional beings, they can only perceive length and width. The cube's height is lost, just like the depth of a painting. Next, we delve into our familiar territory, the third dimension. Here, the cube truly becomes a cube. This is our home, where things have length, width, and height. It's like moving from a flat picture into the depth of the real world. It's something we understand, something we live in, and yet it's just a fraction of the entire picture. And now let us venture into the strange world of the fourth dimension. This, my friends, is where things get really interesting. Here, the cube, or rather, a tesseract, adds another aspect, strength. But wait, how can that be possible? A direction that is perpendicular to all the three previous ones. Our brains, wired for three dimensions, struggle to visualize this reality. It's like trying to see a new color, one that's never been seen before. It's here that our grasp on dimensions starts to falter, where everything we thought we knew becomes questionable. Imagine science ideas like string theory, which talks about how everything is made up of teeny tiny strings. This idea needs there to be 10 different directions or dimensions. There's another idea called the kaluza klein theory, which says that there's a special fifth dimension based on the idea of a fifth dimension governing electromagnetism and attempts to unify the field theory of gravitation and electromagnetism. This theory tries to explain how gravity and things like light and magnets are actually connected. But the fifth dimension is so small that we can't see it or feel it. The fourth dimension is something special, it's time. Now imagine if you were a creature that could move in four dimensions instead of just three, as we can. You could do some amazing things. You could pop in and out of places like magic or even pull people into the higher dimensions, but don't worry because just like we wouldn't be able to live in a world with only two dimensions, we'd get squashed flat. A four-dimensional creature wouldn't be able to live in our three-dimensional world. They would be squished into nothing, so we're safe, at least for now. This, my friends, is a journey into the unknown, a voyage into the realms of reality that continue to baffle the greatest minds. I hope our little journey tonight gave you an intriguing glimpse into the mysterious fourth dimension, but remember this is just the beginning. The thrilling exploration of the fourth dimension is not over yet. I invite you to come back for more real-life unsolved mysteries. Yes, these are not mere fables, but the uncharted territories of our existence that continue to challenge our understanding. As they say, truth is often stranger than fiction. Before we part tonight, I ask you to share your thoughts and theories about the fourth dimension in the comment section. And remember, the more minds we have pondering these enigmas, the closer we get to the truth. So share these tales with others and invite them to join our campfire discussions. Until next time, friends, keep pondering, keep questioning, and always remain curious. As for what happens next, well, you'll have to wait until our next fireside gathering. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Please leave your comments down below if you want to discuss the stories or have theories about any of them. As always, thank you for your support. Be safe.